With temperatures rising and fields drying, rice farmers in southwest Louisiana are putting the final touches on planting this year's crop. The prices for fuel, fertilizer, and seed have gone up dramatically. To help lower their costs, some farmers are doing more water seeding than previous years. With some of the high cost of seed, uh, they can use the conventional varieties so they can up their seeding rates. And water seeding has typically been used to help control weeds, especially red rice. While fertilizer requirements are not as high as some crops, such as corn, farmers do need to apply it to have a successful crop, and it comes with a sticker shock. Last year they were paying probably about $350 a ton for urea. This year it's close to $1,000, or in some instances over $1,000 per ton. Prices for farm commodities have risen, but rice prices have not seen dramatic increases like other crops. The price of, of rice really hadn't seen the boost that we have in some of the other commodities. So it's going to be a real tough season because we really don't have the potential for a lot higher yields. Levy says rice acres could approach 440,000 acres in Louisiana if North Louisiana has any significant acreage. But he doesn't expect that number to be quite that high. North Louisiana has options to plant corn or soybeans, so some of those acres may shift to one of those crops. Farmers in North Louisiana are just beginning to plant their rice crop, which makes up about 20% of the state's rice acreage. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.